Hello, welcome to studentlearning.in, your e-learning buddy. Welcome back to our channel guys. If you are new to this channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to join the family. Today I am going to explain hands-on session of decision tree in machine learning. In here, we are going to do a prediction model on the basis of accuracy. For this, I am using Jupyter Notebook because it's the best tool in the market. You can use any other ID of Python and machine learning. So first of all, we can import all essential libraries. First one is Pandas. Pandas is basically responsible for all dataset operation in machine learning. NumPy. NumPy is used for numerical analysis. Matplotlib is used for some 2D and 3D graphs. Next is sklearn.tree import decision tree classifier. Decision tree classifier is basically used for all mathematical operations. Next is sklearn.matrix import accuracy underscore score this library is basically used to find out the accuracy of current data set next is sklearn import tree tree is basically used for draw a diagram in the form of root node and leaf next is sklearn.model underscore selection import train underscore test underscore split this library is basically responsible for the entire data is divided into two part training set or testing set next is ipython dot display import image this is basically to create a image in pandas next one is sklearn.tree import export underscore graphics. This library is basically used for graphics in machine. And last one is pi.plus. pi.plus is very important libraries of condas. After that, we can import the dataset with the help of read command. That is very simple. You can write df is equal to pt dot read underscore csv brackets within a code dt dot csv csv is the name of source file after that there is a simple command we can show few chords with the help of df dot head commands with this command you can see top five records of the data set and you can see there are five columns day outlook humidity wind and play if you want to see more records then it is very simple just passing the number suppose we have to show 30 records then just pass the variable 30 or number 30 and press the run button so you can see 30 records of the data set top 30 records you can see 0 to 30. You can also check the total number of rows and columns with the help of shape command. So just type df.shape. df is the data source name. You can see 30, 5. That means there are total 30 records and 5 columns. Now, next task we have to divide this data set into two variables x and y. So, the value of x equal to day, humidity and wind and the value of y is play. This is the most important part of decision tree that is x and y. After this task, we can divide entire data set into two parts that is called training set and testing set. That is again very simple on the basis of x and y just type 
x train comma x test comma y train comma y test equal to train underscore test underscore split x comma y and test size is equal to 0 0.4 that means testing size is 40 percent 0 0.4 is 40 percent and random state is double double means it's 200 percent after that check the entropy we can simply write clf underscore entropy is equal to decision tree classifier and criteria is equal to entropy and random state is full full means it's 100 percent and maximum depth is 3 and minimum sample leaf size that is 5 after that we can fit the value of x train y train in the entropy let's simply write clf underscore entropy dot fit within a bracket x train comma y train next line again find out the y prediction values with entropy equal to clf underscore entropy dot predict x test and after that we can simply predict the value of y predict and find out the final accuracy print the accuracy score in respect to x test and y predictions that is very simple you can see the value of y prediction 1 1 1 1 1, one. there are 12 values because the training set and testing set it divided into 60 40 so there is a 40 percent that means there is a 12 values and the accuracy is 60 percent that is uh, not best but 66 percent is acceptable after that we can include that decision tree classifier with the help of decision tree classifier method and again the value of x train and y train fit under the decision tree classifier and print the score with respect to x test and y test that is again is very simple that is 58 percent after that we can now create the decision tree on the basis of training set testing set guinea index entropy or decision classifier that is again that is a very simple code that is x in equal to np dot array 0 comma 1 comma 0 after that is the prediction values y predict equal to dt dot predict x in next np dot array if yes and data type equal to object dot data equal to string io and after that we can import graph viz graph viz is a library or it's a function with the help of this function and one more important library that is called pi dot plus we can create a diagram of decision tree so we can see in the diagram xg less than equal to 60.5 and the value of guinea is 0 0.444 and sample size is equal to 18 18 is very simple because the testing size is 60 40 and out of 30 18 is the sample size that means it's all over 60 percent and the value is 6 and 12 so this is the root node this node is divided into two sub nodes in the right side there is a guinea values is 0, 0.0 sample size is 5 and value is equal to 0 comma 5 in the right side you can see the one value is 0 that means this kind of tree is pure that means there is no need to split further but in left side in true portion the value of xj less than 37.0 and the value of guinea is 0 0.497 and sample size is 13 and value is 6,7 so in this case this node is converted to root node and this root node is divided into two parts first part is the right hand side the guinea value is 0 0.48 and sample is 10 and the value is 6,4 and the right hand side the guinea is 0, 0.0 and sample is 3 and value is 0, 0,3 in the right hand side there is a 0 that means it's a pure data set that means we cannot divide further but in the right hand side there is a value of 6, 4 that means we can divide into another two leaves and that you can see 
the guinea is 0.0, .0 on the right hand side sample is 4 and the value is 4 comma 0 that means this leaf is convert to pure data set that means it cannot be divided but in the right hand side the guinea value is 0 0.44 sample is equal to 6 and the value is equal to 2.4 that it can be divided into two leaves and after that you can see on the right hand side the guinea value is 0 0.32 sample is equal to 5 and the value is equal to 1 comma 4 that means 1 comma 4 again it is a impure that means that can be divided but in the right hand side the guinea is 0, 0.0 sample is 1 and the value is 1.0 that means there is 0 that means a pure data set that cannot be divided so on the right hand side 1 comma 4 is divided into left and right node and the right hand side the guinea is 0, 0.0 and sample is 4 and the value is 0, 0.4 there is a 0 that means it cannot be divided it is a final leaf on the right hand side the guinea is 0, 0.0, sample is 1 and the value is 1,0. Again, it's, there is a 0, so it's a final node or final leaf. That means both the sides are pure data sets or pure subset. That means it's a final leaf of the decision tree. So you can see the final decision tree like that. This is the final decision tree of the existing data set. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave your questions in the comment section down below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Student Learning. Check out more courses from us and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, basically everywhere. The link is always in the description. We will be back with more lectures. Stay tuned and have a good day. Bye.